Cybersecurity is becoming one of the world's largest growing problems today. Global and local economies are getting massively affected and organizations across the globe are now thinking it's not if we're going to get hacked, it's when we're going to get hacked. And with the projected shortfall of 1.5 to 2 million cybersecurity people in a couple of years, it's more than imperative to now really invest in your existing IT and cybersecurity resources, as well as plan to build future generation of cybersecurity leaders. Trends have definitely changed, and we moved from 100% reliance on information security into more an education model for the developers and the users because we cannot, an InfoSec will not scale to address all the security threats and vulnerabilities and run after every developer. So we definitely need to, uh, to educate the developers and educate the users. As reading about the tool, I found it very interesting. I really wanted to see what it did and how it could help me. I think events such as today's Storm Workshop are critically important because they provide an introduction to people about the importance of cybersecurity and about the essence of ethical hacking. It also provides a forum for ITU to be able to let the community know that we are very serious about being a resource in the area of cybersecurity. ITU has a Master of Science in Cybersecurity. We have an institute in cybersecurity that can provide training, that can do testing so that people can advance their skills and keep growing professionally in the cybersecurity field. This is such an important area for the community, for the Bay Area in particular. We're proud to be an active partner with EC Council in this important effort. EC Council is a cybersecurity certification body. We work with uh, certification programs that address hands-on vendor agnostic attack and defense skills in the field of cybersecurity. So skills such as ethical hacking, digital forensics, incident handling, disaster recovery. Kevin Cardwell was, uh, was a great instructor and uh, really uh, drove the points home and uh, I loved the, the way the labs really went in depth. So what we do in a workshop is we teach them the process. So we give them the actual storm device and then we teach them the process of professional security testing. And one component of that is penetration testing. So once they actually go through the workshop, they actually learn how to follow a process to do, actually create a report that a client can use to assess their risk to their environment. And that's the whole goal of the workshop is teach them how to use the device. The key is the device is just another attack platform, but it fits in the palm of your hand. But what they learn in the workshop is how to connect that into their own laptop or their host machine and learn how to bridge the actual two networks so they can actually create an entire enterprise architecture and use the storm device to assess it. And since the storm device is a small form factor self-contained, they don't have to do any risk to their actual laptop themselves. Wireless uh, penetration testing is an awesome feature, so a lot of people don't cover wireless or Bluetooth. It's accelerated. So we also give them six months of lab access with an ebook as well. We have the computer network defense, we have the certified ethical hacker. They are the normal follow-on courses from the Storm Toolkit class. Once they understand the process, they can perfect that process and become a member of either the vulnerability assessment team, penetration testing team. It's a great and eye-opener that you actually have hands on experience how to do the pen testing, how the hacking happens, and then how easy it is to be hacked these days. They have that knowledge and skill where they can actually get the tools and references and practice and perform it on their own. It's all about risk management. Where's the risk for the organization? How am I going to mitigate that risk?